Hey everyone, it's Lee here. Hope you guys are doing great. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix um, two specific problems. Um, I'm actually working on my mother-in-law's um, uh, computer. She's just sort of phoned me up and said that she's running into these problems. Um, I've already fixed them once for her um, about, well, um, a month or two ago, but she's got the same problems again, I don't know. I think she done like a system restore and rolled back the uh, PC, so now she's got the same problems again, something like that. So the uh, problem that she's having is uh, with her internet browser. So it's mm -hmm. Firefox. So the, the uh, Firefox problem is could not load XP.com. Um, I've had that problem before and it's due to um, corrupt Firefox settings. The uh, other issue that she's having is with uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, and she's getting this uh, error saying that there's a problem with the website security certificate. Um, and I know what that is caused by as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how to fix these um, two separate issues. So uh, let's just, um, the, by the way, the screen might look a bit weird because I'm doing this uh, remotely. I'm just using TeamViewer so I can log in and remotely manage her machine. Uh, which means I just don't have to travel over to a house um, and uh, fix it on the site, so it makes it really helpful. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix the uh, Internet Explorer problem first. So let's just fire that up. The Internet Explorer problem is caused by a invalid um, HTTPS um, certificate. Uh, what's actually causing it to be uh, made invalid is the actual date and time of the uh, computer. I've seen this problem before, so if you go down here, the current time is actually on you know my time. It's the 3rd of the 3rd, 2016, and it's um, 11 minutes past 10. And on the actual remote machine, or my mother-in-law's machine, you can see the date is completely, um, well, it's basically sort of 10 years out of date. So that's what's causing the um, uh, certificate error. So we need to fix this. So we just need to bring it up to the uh, current date and time. So it's the 3rd of March, uh, and we just need to change the, uh, oh, that was doing, delayed that whole process a little bit. March 2016, and the time is 22.11, yeah, set that. Okay, so the uh, date and time now are right. Oh. Did I close that or did it? I don't know what happened there, should have, uh, shouldn't have done that. Um, so, yeah, we'll just set the date and time. So now let's see if we can open up uh, Internet Explorer. Let's see if we can get rid of that security error. All of a sudden, the, uh, the remote, yeah, yeah, yeah. remote internet has gone a bit slow, but cool. Okay, and now what we need to do is um, download Firefox, um, and then what we'll do is we'll uninstall it and then uh, reinstall it, and that would fix the Firefox problem as well. Yeah, just download. Okay, we'll just leave this uh, downloading, it shouldn't take um, too long. Uh, in the meantime, actually, you can start uninstalling uh, Firefox, so we need to go to start and then um, control panel. I think you can also do it just by deleting the actual um, uh, Firefox uh, data folder as well. So that's another way to. Um, do it and then I think when you restart it, it kind of goes back to basics but I'm just going to do an actual uh, uninstall uh, there is Firefox so we just want to uninstall that yeah I'm not too sure um, what my mother-in-law does but 
Yeah, I think this is it's at least the second time I fixed this particular problem on her machine, and she always ends up being some stupid games. So I don't know what, I don't know if they're the actual cause of the problem or or what the actual issue is, but it's kind of like a recurring thing. But fortunately, it's not too difficult for me to fix it. You know. Um, so that was supposed to be uninstalling, but I don't know whether it's bugged. See how that airline's getting on. Um, we're making progress. Um, okay, so maybe the actual files. Oh, okay, so it's gone. Is it going to uninstall or is it just. Uh, I think it's uh, a bit botched up. Let's go to what I'll do is I'll think I'll just remove the uh, program folders instead. Um, kind of doing part of this from memory uh, is Windows sixty four, so it might have. Actually, I wonder, um, instead of uninstall it, I just wonder if we can reinstall it over the top of it so I can see whether that fixes the problem. We'll try that first because um, I'm not too sure if she has any um, bookmarks and things like that, and I don't really want to um, lose any of that user data. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's actually saved in the uh, Firefox folder, but I'll just try it and um, I'll just try and install it over the top of itself and see whether that actually. Um, solves the issue, or whether we need to do like an uninstall and then reinstall. Might be able to get away with it. Okay, so just going to close uh, Internet Explorer. Let's close that window. Yeah, the uninstall wasn't working there, so that's obviously due to a corrupt file or something. So uh, let's see if we actually make sure it's uh, the shortcut is on the right location. Which it is. And that is uh, Firefox working. Um, I'm not going to bother with the uh, the refresh. Um, that's not really necessary. Um, and I still don't know what actually gets into these uh, issues with these. Uh, I think it's with these games or something. I'm not too sure. I'll see if I uninstall these. Uh, I'm not even sure what it's what. Um, I think uh, I'm just going to remove the shortcuts on the desktop. So um, it could be any of these. I don't. None of these names kind of um, associate with those things there. So I, I don't know what. I don't even know if they're actually still installed or something. And because, like I say, she did do a um, like a system restore, like a rollback. So I'm not too sure. Um, but okay, so that's this problem fixed. So we've got um, Firefox uh, should be fixed. Double check that. Great. And um, Internet Explorer should be fixed as well in case she wants to use that. Um, that covers those two. Until the uh, next time there is an issue. Um, I might. I don't want it sort of, um, I was going to tell her to in install Chrome or something, I'm not too sure whether it's a, um, like a plugin or something that she's downloading or something that keeps causing these issues, but we'll see. 
Um, so that's it for this video. So that was how to fix the Internet Explorer certificate error and how to fix Microsoft, uh, sorry, Mozilla Firefox uh, XPCOM issue. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video sometime in the near future. Bye.